Good day, our brothers and sisters in Christ. As you embark upon this new day, may you feel the embrace of this blessing igniting within you the assurance of success and fulfillment in all your endeavors. May each moment be filled with anticipation and excitement for the wonders that await. And may you find solace in the companionship of dear friends and the unwavering love of family. Embrace this day with open arms, knowing that you are cherished and destined for greatness. Father Jim Blount, a devout and respected figure within the community, recently found himself the recipient of a profound message from St. Michael. The celestial communication forewarned of an impending conflict between two European nations, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the continent's future. However, the divine revelation also hinted at the possibility of a third nation being drawn into the turmoil. In the year 2024, amplifying the gravity of the situation amidst these dire predictions, a glimmer of hope emerged as the message further revealed that to ongoing wars would come to an end within the same year. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help you to bring you close to the conversion of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Matthew chapter 6 to 6 says, When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join and pray. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in thy sight and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee that thou wouldest impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope and charity, with true repentance for my sins and a firm desire of amendment, while with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds, having before my eyes that which David spake in prophecy, they pierce my hands and my feet, they have numbered all my bones, Amen. The precise date marking the conclusion of these conflicts remain shrouded in mystery, yet the assurance of their impending resolution provided a beacon of optimism amidst the prevailing uncertainty and apprehension. Now, the message will be shared with all of you. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the Most Holy Trinity sent me. I partake in the Divine Word with you as Prince of the Heavenly Legions, giving others what they require, particularly spiritual assistance, putting him on the road to eternal salvation by understanding the Bible, so that they are doers of God's law and understand what it says. Being exemplars of divine love and the sacraments, you obtain the graces needed to carry on. The human creature still does not realize that he is the source of all good and evil in every action, task and idea that he engages in. I appeared in the dream of Father Jim Blount about the future of conflicts as the tumultuous conflicts persist. A glimmer of hope emerges on the horizon, promising an end to the strife that has gripped these two nations. With the arrival of February and March, a transformative shift is foretold where the flames of discord that once blazed across the skies will dissipate, making way for a miraculous intervention. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, a beacon of light pierces through the darkness, signaling the dawn of reconciliation and peace. It is in this moment of divine intervention that the seeds of hope take root, nurturing the promise of a brighter tomorrow. As the nations bear witness to this extraordinary occurrence, hearts are stirred with newfound faith and optimism, paving the way for a healing and restoration to flourish. 
Following the miraculous events witnessed in the skies of the two nations, a sense of awe and wonder pervades the atmosphere. Yet amidst this newfound hope, a shadow of uncertainty looms on the horizon. Tragically, as the flames of conflict begin to fade, a different kind of fire ignites in the churches scattered across Europe and America. This mysterious phenomenon, with its ominous implications, spreads like wildfire, engulfing sacred places of worship in its wake. Even within the hallowed walls of the Vatican, where the presence of Pope Francis serves as a beacon of spiritual guidance, a strange and unsettling fire emerges casting doubt and fear upon the hearts of believers. As these unprecedented events unfold, communities are left grappling with questions of faith and divine providence, unsure of what the future may hold in the wake of such inexplicable occurrences. One who lacks faith is unable to preach. One who lacks hope does not advocate for hope. Whoever is not charitable does not advocate charitable things and whoever is not loved preaches without love, for their prayers to bear the fruit of eternal life. The people of the Holy Trinity must understand that their prayers culminate in the practice of what they have prayed for. A human without love is an empty thing, and empty faith is dead. I love you, I bless you, and protect you. Matthew 16, 18, 19 promises Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven symbolizing authority and stewardship over the spiritual realm. This authority extends beyond Peter himself to the papal office and subsequent popes in the Catholic tradition. The phrase, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven, is understood to confer upon Peter and his successors the power of binding and loosing, which encompasses the authority to make decisions and judgments in matters of faith and morals. Now, let's join and pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.